So it's Saturday story time and I thought it was fairly quiet <laughs> and evidently a hen has laid an egg but not in the nest. They've started doing that so it's been sort of like Easter egg hunt. Oh fun. So I'm sorry but we're going to start anyway. Now I left off with our building project. This is Saturday story time and this is Marianne tr trying to survive my 80s. And uh, I left off. We were getting our building upstairs prepared for a textile show to show in the whole building from June to September. So this is where it was and the building renovation ended up more as a community effort rather than two old people working away. <laughs> I call us old people. I wish I was that age now. And so, first of all, there was the Hungarian boy Robert, the refugee that I told you about. And he stayed and helped us. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Well, I hope... I hope you can hear... Oh, I don't know whether to go someplace else. I, I guess I'll just carry on. I think eventually they'll stop. I think now we have several. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, quiet, kids. Okay, quiet. Yes. It's the same hen that was here last week. I'm going to tell her. I think she might be quieting down. Okay. Anyway, there was also the building contractor in town that worked and bartered for the money that he owed us and worked for us. And he helped bunches. Oh, he, he was just wonderful. And then... Um, there was the man that put up the electricity, the man I told you about that put the texture, uh, the tape and texture on the sheetrock, and then another one came in and put the 30, what was it, 32 gallons or 42 gallons, a lot of gallons of paint. And uh, even the, um, the wife to the bank manager, she came and helped. There was on and on. And I've mentioned um, a, a, a man named Barry, John, Eric, Chris, Dina, a woman, uh, Becky, and uh, Bonnie, the bank manager's wife, and their son, Tom. They all came and they pitched in to help get that building ready. Even the sheriff came. Quiet. The sheriff came. And he helped put up 62 bags of insulation um, that we put into the attic. And it had, he, I think they uh, put it up through a window instead of walking up and down the stairs. But a, a man even was passing by and he stopped to help us carry up some of the windows that we were putting in. So it was really a community affair. Well, we got it done in time, and uh, they put in that show. Okay, and then it goes on. Right after they got out, we went back up. Now, the, every room had been painted sort of a neutral color, but every room had another color in it plus that. Okay, you're, you're going to go someplace else, huh? Yes. Yes, there. You go someplace else. That's a good girl. You go lay an egg. You told me you did. I don't know. Some of my hens tell me before they lay the egg and some after. I don't know why. Okay, anyway, I'm talking about the first room we finished for ourselves was to be our bedroom. And uh, it was beautiful. It was spacious and it had that rose red ceiling. And I say, I write, I want to dance on the ceiling. 
like the song of the day suggests, Dancing on the Ceiling. And after I report that it also has a red hanging light, it may appear more like a brothel than a Victorian uptown bedroom. But how pleasant and delightful a room. And, uh, oh, quiet, you bird. <laughs> At that time, when I got it done, I was 50. Because I talk about, um, in less than a month, I turned the big bad one 50. I can remember hoping that by 50, I would reach maturity before senility set in. Now that I'm here, I'm not sure which I've reached, if any, but I no longer care. Maybe that's a bad sign. And, uh, okay. Oh. Okay. Let's carry on. Oh, now they're going to be quiet now that I'm not really reading. Okay. Our progress has been sure but slow. Maybe we can blame it on the various forms of water because I'm going to read you. Hey. Oh. Water, water everywhere and not a drop to drink, cried the ancient mariner. He's not the only one with water troubles. We had our share this past month. Problems with liquid, solid, and steam. First of all, it started out. I'm not sure when it started. But uh, we put in it. Oh, I'm going to show you what can. Can you see her? That's the one that makes all the racket. She's camera shy now, and she's not going to make it. Oh, good. Okay. Anyway, <coughs> we put in a new furnace, and uh, that was to heat uh, the water. Um, no, it was to heat the upstairs, and it was, um, okay, and it was installed with pipes to heat our hot water upstairs. Okay, okay, now, either you're going someplace else, or I am. Scoop, 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 there. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we put it in. The only thing is, it heated our water seven times hotter. And three or four times a day, the safety valve on the hot water would pop off and spew boiling water onto the basement steps across the cement floor toward the sump pump. Steam rolled out of the faucets upstairs and every cold water tap in the building carried lukewarm water except for, you guessed it, the water in the washing machine. And um, our progress has again been slow but sure. We were then working on the dining room. We had to get that finished and we had removed a five foot wall between the dining room and the sitting room giving each room a new look of openness and painted the dining room. And now we're working on the plank rail and an oak wainscot for the room. And hopefully by next month, we will no longer be having breakfast in the bathroom. In our hallway, we have a temporary breast breakfast bar set up with a grill and blender and an electric tea kettle, etc. It's quite handy and makes it possible to whip up a tasty morning meal. But the bathroom is the warmest and coziest room to eat till we have a kitchen and dining room. It is f finished with an oak master's chair, a round table with a flowing tablecloth, an antique clawfoot bathtub, and the sun streaming in through the east window. Tom gets the chair, he's the master. I get the edge of the bathtub. I'm going to move this back. I don't know. Okay. And the serious part of the bathroom, it was a two-room affair. The part that we ate in was quite large, actually. It could have been a bedroom. But uh, the bathroom, the serious part, was in another room off of that. So, um, also in that room, we have a four-foot picture of a naked girl 
overlooking the tub. The girl is a cutie, a little blonde, about four or five years old, and she's turning red in the sun, and above in bold red letters it reads, Mentholatum for sunburns. The picture was one of the antique posters we found in the basement. The girl had hung in the old drugstore that the downstairs was originally built to hold in the early 1900s. The upstairs was designed for doctors and dentist office. Six are six sinks. Six of them are so of the 19 uh, to 1936 vintage had in, been installed in many of the rooms in their corners. Two of the sinks we are using with our matching cabinets from the past in our bathroom. One in the serious room and the other in the dressing room part. And that room also had our, it was like a walk-in closet, I suppose. It was a big room. And the window we had was opaque. So the sun came in, but people couldn't see in. Okay, the upstairs dining room is finished. This is in March 1987, about two years after we've been there. And, uh, okay, the upstairs dining room is finished, and it is as different as our bedroom with its dark blue ceiling. The color extended 18 inches down the wall from the plate rail, behind the plate rail and the blue and white plate collection now stands out. The ceiling color of the blue, uh, the ceiling color brings out the blue of the plates and some of the same shades of blue. We also have a sink in this room now with running water, which even runs onto the kitchen floor. So we had, oh, all oh well, Tom will fix it. In fact, Tom is working on the kitchen the room is 17 foot 4 inches by 9 foot 4 inches, and it's a galley design kitchen. We've been looking at floor coverings and sinks and talking about cupboards and stoves. Right now, it's a bit awkward to fix meals. We have a grill and a refrigerator upstairs in the hall, which is a big help. We even have hot water upstairs, but none in the downstairs bedroom, a uh, kitchen now. In the morning, when I'm cooking breakfast on the grill, I discover after the first look in the upstairs fridge, what I need is in the downstairs fridge. When I'm cooking lunch in the downstairs kitchen, I discover what I need is upstairs. I average about three trips up and down per meal. If the kitchen isn't finished soon, I will be. I don't know if the stairs will finish me or the overeating. With all the running up and down, I've gained a big appetite. In fact, I'm gaining by leaps and bounds, or pounds, leaps and pounds. Okay, anyway, that's how it is going. Uh, and then finally, uh, okay. One last thing, and then I'll let you go. We had our kitchen. It was finished. Yes, we have a kitchen upstairs, and we ate in our little chair, our table, when we weren't having guests in that little kitchen, and we could look down over the town area. Something more wonderful. Oh, no, I, I that. Okay, yes, we have a kitchen. No more running up and down the stairs to prepare a meal. The kitchen is still actually becoming. We have a stove, refrigerator, kitchen hutch, and table, but we are missing the sink. Although there is a sink in the dining room and the cupboards and a few other things. The day we were switching from the downstairs to the upstairs kitchen, we had company coming to dinner at six o'clock. At four o'clock, Tom said, it's all yours, go to it. It was close, but I made it. It's so wonderful to cook a meal all on the same story of a building. And when we ran downstairs, we had to run outside. And so when we slept up there and had to go downstairs for anything in the, during the night or the morning or whatever, we had to run down the stairs, go outside, go to the other door, unlock it, go in our uh, downstairs apartment, and then back up again. 
So it wasn't just as easy as running down, you know, up and down stairs in one house. So I'll leave you with that, but we're coming along and then next week we'll be with our bed and breakfast. So we're gaining on it. And uh, now that I'm done, the chickens are done. Would you believe it? That's how life is, isn't it? And I've got to go back inside. I've got, I've got, I'm making 100% icorn bread today. And I'm even making one with a swirl with, you guessed it, some allspice in it. So, till next Saturday, we'll see you.